Hey guys, it's SL Bushwhacker 66. Um, my, I recently had a requested video to do a shocker maintenance video, and that was kind of fun. So I decided to take out my old SL 66 and do an 06 or SL 66 maintenance video as well, because they worked out pretty well. I like the camera angle, and they worked out better than my other maintenance videos. So. Today we're going to be covering the grip frame, the ASA, and uh, if we can get to it, we'll be getting on to the feed neck, the bolt, and the rammer, okay? So we're, that's just the basic maintenance, all right? So let's get started. First off, when you're maintaining gun, always remove the macro line, okay? Remove your macro line, put it aside. And what I also like to do is take off the regulator. If you want to see a maintenance video on the, uh, how, uh, taking apart the regulator, I might make a new one, but I have one on in my channel right up here. No, wait. It's right up here. <laughs> video is upside down. Okay. So I have one in my channel. It's a good video. And, um, yeah, that could help you out. But if you want one, I'll make another one. So now since I removed the regulator, the gun is small, nice, light. There's a lot of less stuff to get in the way when you're working on it. And so what you're going to do now is you're going to flip your gun over, okay? The reason why is because we had the, the board is on this side of the gun. This is a UK manufacturer Eclipse, okay? So unlike American-made guns, like this Shocker here, the board is on this side. But in UK manufacturer guns like Eclipse, they're on this side, okay? So first thing you're going to do is remove the three grip screws, okay? Put them inside your magnetic parts tray. Now, my mag this magnetic parts tray is very useful, and you can get it, you know, at like Home Depot for like five bucks, and it, it's really handy. Here, let me move this up a little bit. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to fold back your grips and fold them behind your trigger, your trigger frame. Okay. Now we have this entire side of the gun exposed. Once, once you have done this, you can start taking apart the grip frame. As you see, there are two screws, one near the, the end of the snatch grip and one in front of the trigger guard. You're going to remove these two screws with an Allen key. Too big. Oops. Okay. I, this is what I love about the Ego. They're, it's very, they're very easy to clean. I'm like a shocker where I have to squeeze a Allen wrench in multiple tight spaces. Okay. Okay. So once you have those two screws removed, you can put um, temporarily put your Allen wrenches aside and gently wiggle apart the gun. Okay. Now once you've done this, you have, you have this done. Okay. Just gently separate it. And if you notice that the eyes and the solenoid wires are connected. So what you're going to do is you're not going to grab them by the wires. That is one of the most dangerous things you could possibly do to your ego or any gun as for that matter. Okay. What you're going to do is grab them by the eye harness. Okay. I cannot even tell you how many people have ruined their guns due to grabbing the wires and yanking them out. So, Grab them and gently wiggle them out. Do not pull. Okay. So now once the eye harnesses have been um, disconnected, you can remove your trigger frame from your gun. And this is what it should look like. Okay. So now we're going to work on just, we're just going to clean the grip frame for a second. So let's put our main body side and move our grip frame in. Okay. So now... What you, since you have everything pretty much taken apart, you can access the top of the grip frame. You can get all inside here. Let's reach and get a Q-tip. Okay, and then you can get all inside of here. This shouldn't be that dirty unless you haven't cleaned it in a while. But as I said, it, some dirt could get in due to the space in the trigger. You just want to quickly get this, just clean it, get inside the little gaps. Okay, once you have done this, I'm going to remove the ASA, which is very fairly simple. What you're going to do is remove your battery. Okay, take off your battery, place it aside for now. And just like the shocker, there, there is a tightening screw right on top. Let me see if I can get a good shot. Right there. 
Oh, shit, my battery's running low on camera. All right, here's the um, tightening screw. So what you, if this video cancels out, I will make another video. Do not worry. I'm going to take your Allen wrench. Let me find the right one. There we go. Okay, and you're going to gently loosen up the screw. Not fully undo it, just loosen it. You don't wanna unscrew it in the entire thing. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll notice that your ASA free um, glides freely. What you wanna do is just remove that. And here is the bottom of the ASA. Now I will continue this in a second video because my camera is running extremely low on battery. So thank you for watching. Check out the second uh, part two of the Ego grip frame maintenance. Thanks for your time.